Hey guys, there's no matter here. Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. In the last episode, we 100%ed Waterloo World, which was a trial and a half, if I do say so myself. And in this episode, we'll be doing Black Velvetopia. Let's jump right in, shall we? Hey, great to see you guys all together. Shh. Not now, Rasputin. There is a lot of money I'm paying. Okay. I was just gonna hang out for a bit. Is that bull? Long gone, my friend. The place is yours, if you excuse me. Okay. Hey, great hand. Good thing we found all those queens, eh? Ah! Not much to do here except clean up all the cobwebs, collect all the figments, and get any vaults that are left. Okay, so jumping right into it here, I just want to immediately say, sorry if I sound a little bit weird today, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit under the weather. Lots of uh, headaches and coughing and sneezing and whatnot, just getting over the cold. Uh, anyway, immediately, uh, first off, we have two locations in this whole place. We've got this first area here, which is pretty small, there's like 16 pigments or something. Still, my eyes were kind of hurting, so I couldn't really find them very easily. Also, the uh, the tag for the purse and the purse itself were in that area, so I just quickly got them. Um, I wish I didn't already have. I don't know why I didn't get them before, but you know. So this whole area, there's a couple of uh, things about it. First off, it is linear-ish, but I still get very confused and turned around. And there's a lot of like upscaling areas, like up here and stuff, like that, and then areas down here. And it's really just trying to pay close attention to where I go. Um, bear in mind, I don't always go to places where there is actually figments. I do try and cut out some stuff of me not doing anything. Um, I actually got like a phone call halfway through. Up here we find a little a location which I actually just jumped over to, but there is another way to get over there, which we'll go over in a bit. Um, so you know, just really, my, my biggest suggestion is really, really have a proper eye out for them, because obviously, like I said in my let's play, I think, um, there is some really, uh, the, it, like the figments themselves are the colors of the level so they they blend in perfectly and it's really difficult to find them sometimes so just really keep an eye out and you should be able to see them uh, anyway uh, one thing I should mention is these paintings so if you remember in the LP I actually couldn't afford them <laughs> but I bought them now there's basically there's four paintings but three of them are the ones you want there are the roses, which uh, you give to the people and in the, the streets, and then they will allow you to jump in to escape the bull. But the bull obviously isn't here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, also, bear this place in mind for a little bit later, because I do come in here, and there's a secret in here, which I could have done in the LP, but I didn't, because I'm a knob. Um, but there is <coughs> the vines one, which will uh, make a little vine pattern. To, oh, but, well, first off, here we go. Here's, all you need to do with, for a telekinesis for the trash can on the thing, you can come up here and discover a little secret area. Um, so there's the vines, which I use here, and then they go in like a weird pattern and climb up. There's the guitar that goes directly up, and then there's the window, which does one or two things. It'll either teleport you to another location, or behind it will actually have a figment. So you just want to try everything on every little, um, little painting location. So anyway, we're putting the vines here and climbing up this area, we actually find a secret area that I've got to show. Ta-da! The secret garden! And here we find all the luchadors! Yeah, let's see what they have to say. Hey, I just think it's great that you took that ass-kicking I handed to you and turned that defeat into something positive. Like gardening. Now I go and talk over talk to this next person, but uh, they all say the same thing as far as I can tell. But up here, as well as a bunch of figments, is obviously also the safe. So, uh... We'll open up that in a second, but uh, yeah, so this is this is a really kind of neat little area. I like it a lot. It's quite a pleasant little garden. You can just knock into the uh, the looter doors and stuff. They're all here. I think they come here every time you beat them. Anyway, let's open up this safe. Let's we'll see what we have. Edgar's love. So this is Edgar detailing how he kind of um, started liking the girl that he fantasizes about. You know, him going through high school and stuff. It's all just a big high school romance story. Um, this entire thing, there isn't too much to it, really. It's just him liking her. There's no plot twist or anything. It's little moments they share together. It's quite nice. Um, high school sweethearts, so to speak. And he never got over it, so it was insane. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, that's the other vault. Uh, the only other thing, really, in this level is, uh, some, is I think, one more... Uh, 
I think also here's me trying to all the paintings and all the things. So I open up that, and fair enough, there's one pigment in there. Bear in mind, there's a couple of sneaky locations like that. So it makes it really difficult when you you only got one or two left and you look up online, where's the last pigment? I don't know. You can't actually find it because it doesn't exist. Because, well, it's not that. It's just, it's, just, it's just too many bloody places for it to be. But admittedly, like, I had, once again, I had a. I had two figments of, at the end, and one of them. Uh, I, they're both apart from each other, but. Anyway, there's me just giving that rose to that lady or something like that. I couldn't even tell. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, let's see, what else is there to say? Like, just check up all the areas, like, above everywhere, you will see me get some secrets, a lot of upgrades as well. Uh, check on tables, just look really closely is, is my biggest suggestion, you know. Um, you know, you can go back everywhere, it's kind of tedious, a little annoying, but you know, it's just... There's, and also there is a, a couple of locations where you've got to kind of use your mind and uh, do some... <laughs> in, literally as well, uh, in the, um, the sense of... <laughs> So there are some little puzzles and doors you have to open. There's another very similar one so that we did in the sewers. So I can't tell if we've done it yet. So I, I might, I might have missed it or not. But oh no, here it is, right here. There is also a figment in this alleyway that just kind of comes down. I just grabbed it there. That just ru runs down with the ball. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with some music for a little bit before I come back. Oh, actually no. Uh, we're near the end here because I, I cut out this. Uh, <laughs> this whole ne uh, next sec section, damn, it has the music uh, decided for it. Oh, I'll just ramble on for a bit. Uh, so I, I want to go around for a bit and then cut out until I find this little location up here, where it's an ammo up and a little cat figment. Um, yeah, and then that's essentially this area, uh, it took me a little while to find. It's where this little area was, I was standing for a bit. I you had a bit of a cut earlier on, but you didn't see it. Uh, where. Now uh, you go through that apartment and you can kind of use the, the way to go. Uh, and now we're going to show you, I'm going to show you what the last figment is, which is a real dick move down here. I would say this is the hardest figment to find. You jump into this, this hoop and there it is, a tiny little figment of a guy. That's, that's seriously where it is. I couldn't believe it even. It's so stupid. Like, like I said in my Waterloo world, this is seriously the point where they do not want you to find it. Um, Anyway, so there it is, 142 fragments in this area, 7 cobwebs, 2 volts, all of the emotional baggage. Uh, now let's look at the primal memories of Edgar. So he actually, <coughs> the first one here, I forget what this guy's name is, he's the guy that guards the elevator, I actually really like him, but I can't remember his name. Anyway, there's Edgar's designs, all of his tattoos and stuff. Um, the little dog selling all of the things. Uh, the fountain of art. Or found the paint. Oh, I said it on it. I really love this level. Just the design prices of that. I don't know. You know the lucha libres, the the, the dancer girl that she that he likes. Hmm. Stadium. That's where the boss is. Yeah. So anyway, that was Edgar's mind. And for those of you doing the math, that means there is only one level left in the game, and that, my friends, is the meat circus. Now, the thing is with the meat circus, I, I mentioned at the beginning, I, I fucked up or something. I don't know. Then save afterwards or something, but I can't actually go back there. I actually have to progress the story to get there, or something. I'm not sure. Or, or maybe you have to do it all at once. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, that's a thing, which I do believe is a thing. So. Yeah, um, I imagine it to be quite difficult, but once again, like I said, I've never actually tried it before. <coughs> so, I might do that next episode, but at the same time I might not, because there's one more thing I've been playing to show, and I don't think I have yet, is the, the shop, uh, the camp shop, and just show all the items and stuff. Which I know will be a kind of cheap, short episode, but, you know. Uh, also, this is how I've been getting back. You can, a way to get back to the, the thing, or you can just use smelling salts, whatever. Is uh, this door right there? That's 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 me, sucks. But um, yeah. So um, because the thing is, I I don't really have that much time to record uh, something like that because I have absolutely no idea how long it will be. As you can see, also all the other levels, uh, you, all of the four lights are on. That's because I have literally everything. There's one for each collectible. But anyway, I've been Arthur Mo. See you guys next time. Bye.